Hey, what's up Tackle Warehouse? It's Justin Lucas hanging out with you guys and I'm gonna go over the triple threat of max scent for smallmouth bass. And number one, you guys have heard of by now, max scent flatworm and what it's done the past several years in bass fishing tournaments for smallmouth. It's an incredible bait. Uh, we have it in a new size now, so it's only ever been available in a three and a half and now we have it in a four and a quarter. So just a bigger presence. I think this is gonna make a big difference when you're fishing for smallmouth that are feeding on perch. You know, yellow perch tend to be four or five inches long when the smallmouth are feeding on them. And this is gonna really do a good job at imitating that. But if you don't know anything about Max Scent, just to touch quickly on that, it is a scent dispersing bait. So. When it falls in the water, when it lands in the water, it actually has a bunch of pores in the bait and the scent pours through all of those pores out into the open water. And smallmouth can find that a lot better when there's that scent trail coming out of the water. There's something about them scientifically, chemically in their brain, I don't know what it is uh, that triggers them into biting things that have good scent. And this is, it's the best bait we've ever seen for smallmouth in my opinion. So. The flatworm, now available in a four and a quarter inch. I have it on the seven foot uh, medium action rod, depending if I'm using the three and a half or the four and a quarter, uh, anywhere from a number two nose hook to a one aught. And then most of the time, three eighths or half ounce drop shots with these baits for smallmouth. But I will scale down to a quarter when it's tougher. Eight pound or six pound Berkley X5 braid and then you want an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And me personally, I like a fast reel, so I use a little bit bigger size spinning reel. And this is a size 30 from Abu Garcia. It's a Abu Garcia Xenon reel. So we all know what that's done over the last several years now, how many tournaments it's won in professional bass fishing. And what I'm really excited about is some new baits to add to the arsenal. The first one of the new baits that I wanna talk about is the Lil General and this is a little short do nothing action bait uh, and again this is in max scent i've got it on a 3 8 ounce berkeley half head right there but this is your ned style bait and this thing is going to be really really awesome uh, for these fish we'll get to talking about where i fish these and which one i pick up in a minute but yeah the ned so far this summer has been great for me i've caught a lot of fish on it i do put it on a little bit heavier rod because the hooks tend to be a little bit thicker on those or the gauge of the hook. So I've got it on a seven foot medium heavy and this is a Fantasista X. And again, size 30 reel, same line as the drop shot. The next one I'm gonna talk about, the third one to clean up here in the Maxent smallmouth lineup is the new Maxent tube. And you can see these tentacles, they did a really good job cutting them individually, really isolated. There's nothing that sticks together. So now you've got a tube that has max scent, right? So the qualities of a scent dispersing bait and this thing's been catching them all summer long as well. It's been awesome to throw uh, for smallmouth. And really between the Ned and the tube, it's revitalized my confidence in these baits because I had so much confidence in max scent throwing the flatworm is, was all I wanted to do. And I know that these shapes, you know, the Ned type shape, and the tube shape for smallmouth, they're just proven tournament winning shapes. But now that we have them in max scent, it certainly makes it a lot easier for me to pick them up and throw them, knowing that I have so much confidence in max scent. So number one for me, I'm always gonna start off with the drop shot. That's, that's my, my bread and butter, that's my, my sword, if you wanna call it that. That's the one I wanna go to battle with, if I can. But there's times, you know, where the drop shot's not gonna produce like some of these other baits. And uh, one, one instance for sure that I can tell you about uh, with a Ned style bait and where this is gonna come into play is a lot of times when it gets flat, calm and clear, these fish get pretty spooky. Uh, I don't know what it is about a drop shot, but they can get spooked off a drop shot when it gets real calm and flat, you know, flat, calm and real clear and I have had very good success, especially up at the St. Lawrence River, throwing a Ned style bait, you know, when it gets that calm. So now that I have it available in Maxent, I'm really, really excited about that. 
And then, you know, for St. Clair or anytime you're dragging a bait around, a tube is just really tough to beat for smallmouth. So if it's real windy and you're just trying to drag a bait, not trying to live scope them or active target them, whatever you want to call it, forward facing sonar, if it's too windy for that, a tube is a great choice just to throw out, drag behind the boat. Of course, you still want to be in areas where there's fish, but this can be kind of your cleanup bait where you go through with the drop shot, you catch a bunch of fish on a drop shot, and you come back and show them and, and the, the little general too, but it's just a nice, nice that you can show them a different offering and uh, really clean up with both of these baits. So I'm super stoked. Now that I have all three of these in max scent, I feel like it's just gonna make me an even better smallmouth fisherman. I'm not good enough yet. I still gotta get better at it, but it's gonna help me get better. And if you guys are looking to become a better smallmouth fisherman, definitely check out the Maxent lineup. Every pro is buying it. I don't care if they say they're not. It's really, really good stuff. So I believe the tube and the little general will be available very soon on tacklewarehouse.com. And of course the flatworm is if it's in stock. So you guys need to keep up with it, check it out, get them off Tackle Warehouse. We'll see you guys later.